Booger, it's so good to have you back on the program. And uh, I think we're all pretty excited to hear what you think of uh, the new coach on the Bayou. How are you? Paul, what's up, buddy? I'm doing outstanding, man. How you been, dude? We've been okay. We've uh, just uh, following uh, airplanes across the country. And uh, we had Brian Kelly on yesterday. And I had to keep uh, looking down to make sure I remembered where he was coaching. It's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, you know, you know, here's the thing about it. Um, you know, a lot of people have scrutinized uh, how this hire came about, and I think that's kind of funny because nobody denies that Brian Kelly is a good coach. I think his resume speaks for itself. Uh, I think he's won everywhere he's been. But people are scrutinizing how the hire happened. And here's what I, what I, what I would say is that in the current climate where there's a signing day in about two and a half weeks, and he's not coaching right now because Notre Dame season has been – regular season is over. How do you go about changing jobs if you're a coach who wants a different job? So I would just tell the people who criticize how it went down that the current climate of college football, and you know this, Paul, that dictated how the job went down with USC and also LSU. But as far as the hire, let me say this. Um, I think that Brian Kelly is a guy who is exactly what LSU needs. You know, Coach Ogeron was a perfect, quote-unquote, fit. Louisiana guy, through and through, born and bred, uh, go Tigers, all that good stuff. And he was able to win. And I think that, you know, his fall from grace was a lot uh, of his own doing. And I think it also showed LSU that we can't be as loose with the details in, in our program as Coach O was. So now you bring in Brian Kelly, who is all buttoned up, uh, he's a winner. He is class personified. And I think I would describe him this way. People talk about his personality. It's been described to me. I, I've never met him, but I talked to some people that played for him, talked to some people that have been around him. And, Paul, they describe his personality and his coaching style this way. And I think you'll appreciate this. He is a Midwestern version of Nick Saban. And to me, that's a pretty good thing, Paul. Now, obviously, he doesn't have the pellets on the wall that Saban has. That's the reason why he's at LSU. He's at LSU because, in my mind, he thinks that the path to a national championship is greater for him at LSU and the SEC than it is at Notre Dame based on a number of things, recruiting, um, academics, uh, as far as being uh, allowed to be uh, getting into school, and, and so many other things. So, uh, I like the hire, Paul. I'm ecstatic. Uh, I think he's a ball coach, meaning he's not going to be riding around in the golf cart, you know, just looking. He's going to actually be in the huddle coaching. He he loves a big physical offensive line. And Paul Feinbaum, the last time I checked, if you look at the style of football that Notre Dame played under Brian Kelly, it's very similar from an offensive standpoint to what Georgia does. It's physical. It's run the ball. It's big offensive lineman. It's a quarterback that's, that is being efficient. And I think that's doing pretty well in the SEC. Talking to Booger McFarland. Booger, you grew up uh, in that state, went to LSU. And, and I, I don't know. I want you to help me with this. I don't know how any player that, that grows up and goes to high school in LSU, with the possible exception of the Manning family for whatever reason, yeah, doesn't want to go play uh, at LSU and be uh, it, it, on that field at Tiger Stadium on a Saturday night. But but in the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, players have filtered out of there. I mean, Nick Saban has made a living off of that. Uh, do you think Brian Kelly can, can keep those players in the state of Louisiana once again? Well, that's the task, Paul. I mean, they gave him $100 million to do that. Like, we can talk about all the things that BK has done. Uh, people give you a contract not for what you've done, but what they think you can do for them. Because Brian Kelly, uh, his, his track record says he can do it. So LSU is paying him $100 million for the ability to come in and put a fence around that state. You know, Paul, you and I have covered college football for a long time. I, I think there are three programs in the country, Paul, that have a, a unique advantage based on location than any other program. And this is no disrespect to Georgia Tech. But I think Georgia... Ohio State and LSU, because they are the only big fish in the state. They are the only big top power five in their state. So what does that mean? That means you can literally leave your house, get in your car, and you can drive an hour or two in any direction, and you'll get enough talent usually to fill the football team. And that's just an advantage other schools don't have. So Brian Kelly is coming from a place where he had to, rec he had to go to California and get players, Paul. 
Now he can just get, leave Baton Rouge and go two hours north, two hours. Maybe he can go 61 miles south to New Orleans and Paul, and he can probably get eight to ten guys a year 60 miles from his front door. That's an advantage that he's got to take full advantage of. And the only way you're going to do it, Paul, is you got to build a relationship. He's got to get out, and he's got to go talk to the high school coaches. First of all, he's got to keep some of the – current guys on the LSU staff that he thinks can help him. He's got to keep those guys because Paul, the first thing you do when, you know, when you move to a new city, before you buy a house, usually you get what a realtor, right? And the realtor tells you where to stay, where to go. Here's, here's what the price range is here. Here's what the price range is there. So Brian Kelly has got to make sure his realtors, i.e. some of the current assistants on the LSU staff, tell him where to go. So he's got to go to New Orleans. He's got to go to North Louisiana. He's got to go to the places where the players are. And then he's just got to sell himself because the LSU football program has sold itself for years, Paul. That's the reason the last three coaches have won national championships. And everybody's going to talk about fit. Well, guess what? Les Miles is not a South Louisiana guy. He won a national championship. Last time I checked, Paul, Nick Saban didn't come from South Louisiana. He won a national championship. So the fit is all about can you coach and can you relate to the talent that's in the state. If he does, Brian Kelly will win a national championship in three to five years. If he can't, then he won't. It's as simple as that, Paul. Like, we, we can debate this all day long. The talent is there, but he's got to have the ability to go into the homes in Louisiana, and a Midwestern guy has got to sell himself again because the LSU program will sell itself, but he's got to sell Brian Kelly. And if he, if he can do it, Paul, we'll be partying and having a parade in Baton Rouge pretty soon. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.